bus arbitration is our topic for this particular session. Now what is bus arbitration? We know that in a particular computer we are having multiple different modules and these modules might be demanding an access over the data buses and the control buses. So at a time the bus can be granted to one of the modules. A bus cannot be granted to more than one module at the same time. As a result of that the contention which is known as the bus contention when multiple modules are competing to get an access over the bus. So to resolve this particular process that which module will get an access over the bus, the process thus known as bus arbitration and it will be done by the bus controller or bus master or, or bus arbitrator. So this bus controller can be called in multiple different ways. So to have this bus arbitration, we are having mainly three techniques, daisy chaining arbitration, polling and independent requesting. In this particular diagram, whatever we are getting on the board, in this particular diagram, we are going to discuss the daisy chaining at first, then we will be coming to the other uh, methods. In case of daisy chaining, just look at the diagram, it is the bus controller and these are the competing modules. This line is a control line known as the bus grant line and these are the bus request lines coming from individual modules and this bus request line is made available as input line to the bus controller. This is known as the bus grant and this is known as the control bus and the data bus. Okay. Now see, okay, I am making this one as bus busy, that will be better for me. Okay. Now see, I am just uh, discussing this one. At first, the bus controller will check whether this bus request line is enabled or not. Bus request line will be enabled if and only if one of the modules, at least one of the modules will be requesting for, for the bus to get an access. If the bus request line is enabled on, then the bus controller will be able to understand that one of the module modules is demanding the bus. So that's why it will just make the bus grant line enable for module 1. Actually you see in irrespective of the module number there is a single bus request line. So as a result of that this bus controller is not in a position to decide or to check which module has actually demanded the respective buses. So that's why it will make the bus grant line on for module 1. So if the module 1 made that bus request line enabled, then it will make the bus busy line enabled and it will access the bus, the buses like say control bus and say data bus. So it will be accessing these buses and once it will get uh, the accessing is over, then it will make the bus request line disable from its end. But let us suppose module 1 did not demand for the bus access, then this bus grant line will be passed to the next module, so module 2. If the module 2 was not responsible to enable this bus request line, then this bus grant line will be passing to the module 3. So that is why it is called chaining, daisy chaining arbitration. So module 1 will get the priority higher than module 2, module 2 is having the priority higher than module 3. In this way the process will be carried out. So in this process, what are the difficulties or advantages? The advantage is that the circuit is very simple. There is a single bus grant line which will be enabling the bus module 1 at first, then module 2 and module 3 in this way. So the circuit is very simple. The main disadvantage of this module, of this particular arbitration technique is that the module 1 will have the priority always higher and the module N that is the last module will have the least priority. As a result of that, it will always wait to have the access over the control buses and the data buses. So that is one of the disadvantages. Another disadvantage is that if one of the module, if one of the modules got say um, damaged somehow, then the bus grant line cannot pass through it. So it will prohibit this operation in operation in, in practice. So as a result of that, these are the disadvantages of this one. And always the bus controller can make module 1 at first enabled 
with the bus branch line not module 2 or module 3. So bus controller cannot change the sequence. So this problem has been resolved in polling. In case of polling you see we are having multiple pole count lines. We are having multiple pole count lines and these pole count lines are there and what will happen? So when one of the modules is enabling this bus request line then what will happen? It will produce a pole count sequence here also I'm making this one as bus busy okay I'm just making this one as bus busy so this pole count lines here we are having three lines so three lines means how many combinations eight combinations zero 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 two one 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 eight combinations are there so the bus controller line bus controller will put one of the counting sequence in this particular pole count lines three bit counting sequence so the respective module will get selected so the respective module will get selected. So as a result of that, if that module was responsible to make this bus request line enabled, then the module will make the bus busy line enabled and will access this control bus and data bus. When this bus busy line will remain enabled, so that will indicate that the bus is busy and being used by the selected module. But these pole count lines may be producing one of the sequence here, one of the sequences here for a particular module which is which didn't enable this bus request line. So then that will be a non-productive polling. That means the bus controller line is enabling module 3, but the module 3 was not responsible to enable this bus request line. So that will be known as the non-productive polling. Otherwise, the bus controller can change the pole count sequence. So it can select these modules in any order as when required. So the priorities are not fixed. So priorities can be decided by the respective bus controller or the bus master. So that is one of the advantage of this model which is taking over and on this daisy chaining arbitration. Another thing is that the limitation in this uh, bus uh, in this particular polling technique is that the bus request line has been enabled by which model that is still unknown to this bus controller because for all modules that is a single bus request line. So that is one of the disadvantages. Another disadvantage is that depending upon the number of bits in the pole count lines, the maximum number of modules, here I have shown three modules but here we are having three pole count lines. So I could have module 1 to module 8 also. So these pole count lines, the number of bits in the pole count lines will decide the maximum number of modules that we can attach with this particular system. So that is one of the disadvantages. Now in case of independent requesting to some extent these disadvantages have got resolved. Here each and every module is having a separate bus request line, separate bus request line. So when multiple modules are demanding access over this data bus and the control bus, so consider this one as data bus and consider this one as control bus. So what will happen? When multiple modules are requesting through their dedicated bus request line, so this bus controller is in a position to decide that which module should get the priority higher. So the bus controller is having the supreme authority to select that particular module by enabling the respective bus grant line for those modules who have met this bus request line enabled. Because we are having separate bus grant and separate bus request line for all the modules. So that is the main advantage of this independent requesting. So there is no chance of having any kind of non-productive polling. The main advantage is this one, there are some disadvantages also there. Depending upon the maximum number of bus grant or bus request line, the number of modules that can be attached with this particular system can be constrained, can be limited. So that is a disadvantage. Nowadays what is happening, we are having the protocol like PDB 11 Unibus. In this PDB 11 universe, what we do, we do a mixer of daisy chaining and independent requesting. So here you see we are having only one bus request and only one bus grant. So bus grant and bus request, here we will be making the daisy chaining of those modules which are 
either alike type of modules all the storage devices or having the priority same. So what will happen this bus grant line and bus request line will be working for series of modules for series of modules having got the same priority or same type. So what will happen the number of modules which you can introduce or how which you can include in this particular uh, arbitration circuit will be unlimited. So it will be a mixer of daisy chaining and the independent requesting. Daisy chaining is requiring only one bus request and only one bus grant. So only one bus request and only one bus, bus grant. Here multiple modules will be there. The bus grant line will be flowing through them. So that will be a combination of independent requesting and the daisy chaining arbitration technique. So this is, so in this particular session we have completed this bus arbitration. In your exam copies, semester exams, please draw these circuits and explain these circuits with the proper clarity. I think we have got the idea regarding the, regarding the daisy chaining arbitration where modules are getting selected sequentially one after another. The sequence cannot be changed. The first module will have the priority higher, highest rather and the last module will have the priority lowest. Then we had our polling in this case we are having the poll count lines. So that will decide that how many modules we can introduce in maximum. We can change the sequence, we can change the priority as when required by the bus master. And here we are having independent requesting. So that is no non-productive polling. The bus master knows that which module has demanded for the bus. And in case of PDB in 11 universe, we are getting a mixer of daisy chaining and independent requesting to implement the beta process. Thank you.